see. Where are you? I must be live. I must be live. I must be live. Let me... Let me find you on my phone so I can see where you all are. Oh, there I am. Whoops. All right. We are live in Create with Sharon Hoppy Designs for our Thursday night live instead of Tuesday. Um, just, ooh, just because things were crazy. So how is everybody out there in Pottery Land? Pottery Land, let me, um, let me get, let's see. We have Kathy, Dorothy, Maria. Hey, Maria. And Penny. Yes, ma'am, you made it. Hey, Katrina and Vicki. Welcome. So, tonight, uh, hey, Stacy. So, tonight we're going to do something a little different. Well, because, um, a couple weeks ago, week ago, whatever it was, and actually before I even get into it, I'm going to wait a few minutes, let some people get on. So tell me, how is life out there in Pottery Land? And you know, I woke up yesterday and we were talking and I was like, oh my gosh, it's like three weeks to Christmas, guys. Three weeks. Um, I'm not ready. Not even started. There'll be no tree this there'll be nothing this year. Um, it's only three weeks. Hey, Sally, yes, it's been a while. Hello from Jamaica. I will never make three weeks. It's not happening. So it's okay. I'm an adult. Mr. Wilson is an adult. We'll take care of the grandkids who are almost adults <laughs> now too. Um, but that'll be it. Uh, we are too busy catching up. Um our weather is cold and rainy. Very difficult for me when it's Wait cold. And... But that was good this year. Mr. Did you hear Mr. Wilson? He comes in here. Wait a minute. But I've been good this year. There is no such thing. Um, but I can give you a lump of coal, Mr. Wilson. That's not very nice. <laughs> it's all I have. It's all I have. Um, minimal Christmas decor. You know, every year we're like, okay, we're going to get the outside of the house decorated. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And every year Christmas bites us and we're running around at the end. However, we do have a lot going on. We have a lot to get ready for. And, um, tonight, how many of you that are already on? Oh, thank you, Stacy. How many of you that are already on purchased the October... Surprise box, the the October project box. I have a hair in my eyeball. So if you purchased the October project box, you saw last week that I did the big reveal. Well, just kidding. That wasn't the real reveal. I am doing October Project Box Take Two tonight. Um, that one, I, I, and this is not something I typically do, and this is not something I would probably ever do again. But it just, it just wasn't up to my standards, and so I changed it. Yes, I did. I changed it. So tonight, you're going to see what's in the real October Project Box, and I hope that you're really happy with it. Um, because I think it is just so much better. And because of the weight, with everything going on in our lives, because of the weight, I've even add, added a couple little things extra in there um, just to hopefully say, gee, I'm sorry it's taken so long and hopefully it'll make it worth the wait. But I made four different versions of of things from this today just to show you some versatility and I did bare bones I want you to look at this and go oh my gosh I could do this I could do that I mean you could put some super fancy feet some a fancy around the rim you could put little handles you could um 
my brain went blank. You could slip trail on it. You could shade on it. You could use um, stains on them. You could do all kinds of things to this. So um, once this is, you know, once we're all caught up and after the first of the year, when we start taking orders again, this particular piece will have um, other items in the whole collection. They will not come with this box, but we will be doing a 12 inch carved rolling pin, a seven inch carved rolling pin, a set of stamps um, that go with it and probably a one inch border. And let me tell you, this stuff will all be interchangeable. Um, for instance, if you also got the Christmas in July box, well that form and that template will fit on this and give you this with a whole different look. So I'm working really hard to create these project kits to be somewhat interchangeable so that you have a whole collection uh, and a whole plethora of shapes and, and all of this kind of stuff. So I am gonna put on, let's see, what do we have here? Um, oh good, we have uh, waving hand pink waving. I'm not sure what that means, Edie. But we have people on um, Facebook. We have people here on YouTube. And again, I've been, I've been letting you all know, we are going to be switching primarily to just YouTube before too awful long. So if you have not been watching anything on YouTube or whatever, I did put a link in the post for today. Click on the link, get out to the YouTube channel, subscribe, like, post, do whatever, but get ready. We're going to be doing most everything out on YouTube. Um, I've been asking for quite a while and the majority say it is much clearer, much more stable to watch from YouTube. So in order to give the, the best, um, the best demos we're going to be doing a lot of it from or most all of it from youtube so let's get started what time is it 508 oh my gosh let's get started with this first video and after the first video then i'll show you all the parts and pieces that are going to be in this um take two october project box i have a piece of b mix B mix five, no grog. Um, and it is well, that was not it. That was last week's. Hold on one second. Let me grab the right. I have a piece of B mix. B mix five, no grog. Um, and it is more than a quarter inch, probably closer to three eighths inch thick. Hold on guys, I gotta find the right file. I don't know what happened here, where it went. Let's see, where did it go from tonight? Well, that's weird. Today, today, today. Oh, don't tell me I changed the name of those to the Slab to Fab stuff that we're doing. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me check this one. So, I have a set here of our... Yep, I... I... Gosh darn it. Hold on. I have a piece of B-Mix. That's last week's. I gotta find the right video real quick. I think I threw away the wrong darn video. I apologize, guys. Thanks. We can. Oh, well, that's going to be bad if that's what I did, if I threw that away. Oh, wait a second. I got him. I think I found it. Okay, I got it. I'll fix it. Hold on. I 
I got it. I got it. Let me, you're going to see the other one just for a second until I get this traded out, but it'll be there. So hold, please. we go with the October box project redo. So I want to tell you what I've done is I have rolled out a slab of clay, a slab of clay. My voice is just not working today. Um, a slab of clay. I have laid it over the top of the tool timber, which is our carved boards that we have come out with. And I've got this slab here, basically so that you can't see the design yet. And I am just going to, with my squeaky roller, roll this texture in. I don't know if you can see that. That's a Bailey's laying right there. That's a big hair. I'm going to pull that out. It would burn out anyway, but um, that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to roll this in. Now... With these tooled timbers, one of the things you're going to have to do is I would take a piece of scrap clay. Had a little air bubble. I would take a piece of scrap clay and I would play around with rolling and seeing your depth. Um, the carving is super deep, but you also have to roll on it to get it. And you need to learn how to roll and not double expose it. All right. I didn't get that air bubble. I want that air bubble. You can't see it, but I can. Okay, so I've rolled this in. Now just for fun, I'm going to double texture this. I've got my texture on the bottom, and I'm going to take um, our hexi flower. I believe this is what this one is called. Look how deep this is. And I'm going to stand up so that I can roll this and I'm going to roll it one time and I'm not going to press very hard because it's a very deep texture already. There we go. Look at that. All right. So that's there. Get my stuff out of my way. Get my towel. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just lightly lift up because I don't want to um, stretch this. And you notice I didn't put cornstarch or anything, and this lifts right up. So I'm now going to take this and move this out of the way and look at, oh, let me show you. Florals and berries. This is winter florals and berries. Can you see the depth and the gorgeousness of this board? And look at, oh, look at that texture. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And of course, I textured both sides of this. So you would have to decide now. Which texture do you want on the inside? Which texture do you want on the outside? Um, because again, let me see if I can do this without stretching. This is the outside, well, one side, and this is the other side. And I think I'm gonna put this on the inside and the geometric on the outside. So now, all I need to do is take my Whoops. Put that there. Let's take my template and decide where, what flowers do I want? Oh my gosh. I, I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love. I want the whole thing. But we're gonna, we're gonna cut this. Oh, and by the way, this flower right here, this is the template. This is where I got the design for the template. There is going to be a, um, 12 inch roller in this design, a seven inch roller in this design. Um, there's probably going to be a little one inch roller of the berries. 
and then there's going to be a set of stamps. Um, now that doesn't all come in your October box, obviously, but then there's also going to be a set of stamps. So you can get a whole collection of this design. All right, so I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to take my needle tool and just go right around this. I don't even have this like on my banding wheel or anything at the moment. Love, love. Okay, are you ready? And there it is. Oh my golly. Okay, I'm gonna take and I'm actually gonna take my fingers are wet. I want to get a hold of this and I'm gonna set this think this is where I want it like that I'm just gonna set this close it's not gonna match because it's one side or the other that I put this on but if I do this then I can lift this up and I'm not warping it and all of that which is what I love about using these templates now I'm gonna squeeze out my sponge and I'm just going to go around this outside edge. Clean this up a bit. Just like this. Now I could also flip it over and do the other side or I can do the other side when I get to the other side which is what I'm gonna do I'm just kind of getting the little crumbs off it is that gorgeous or what all right so now we have a lot of things we can do with this flower and design but I'm gonna use the actual um, dual drape form that comes with this, which is the shape of the flower. Now I can look at this and say, huh, let's see, which direction is this supposed to go? This is the side that sticks up. So that's, that's actually, nope. Hmm. Well, you can put it any way you want it. I want it like that, right there. See that? Okay, now I can use this and make a gorgeous plate and it's gonna be textured top and bottom, right? I could also take a, um, hold on, let me grab it. Okay, a lot of you already have our bubble bowl. Let me take this off of here. And if this was wrapped around the bubble bowl, you see how those edges would just come up on the top and give you that beautiful floral. You could also use our ramen dish and bring this up into a beautiful flower. But we're gonna actually use the form that comes with it today. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna decide how I want it. And it doesn't even have to be it could be all out of whack. It could be however you want it. It could be like this, which is pretty close to exactly how it goes. And I'm gonna just go ahead and do that for now. I'm looking up at my camera so I can see I'm pretty even. But because this is such a organic shape, it's not gonna matter. Now, I'm gonna just flip this over 
And look at the back side of this. Is that not cute? So I could take my sponge and just go around and clean these edges. And I will tell you, it is a cold, rainy day here today. I do want to make sure I go into these little cracks, not cracks, these little crevices so that it doesn't crack and round that off. Look at that. Look at the back side of that. Is that not great for the back side of a pie dish? Um, saw a little bump right there. The back side of a pie dish or something. So anyway, I have this. And I think I'm going to just take this little roller. And I'm just going to pop this down on this roller. Just like that. Now I can't, I can't use a uh, rib or anything, right? Because I got texture here. So I'm just gonna, and I want this floral like. This is gonna be a fun little floral type dish. So I'm just gonna bring it down. And uh, and then you can flower it out anyway you want to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip this just so that I can see what it is. And then I'm going to flip it back over because it's too wet. You see what that's going to look like? So this gives me an idea of how, how I'm going to want that. All right. So back over. Oops. And I'm doing that so that these edges will go around my form. And I am going to leave it just like this, all floral-like. Now, if you wanted a big flower to come up, just use something small and round in the center. But I want this one big. I'm going to set that aside. And I took... I took a, um, you're also getting the small template in here. And I already rolled out, just like you saw me do, a small one. I didn't do the back side of this one. I just did a, a small flower that could go in the middle of this for like a dip, chip and dip or something. And I'm just going to get a little small round, um, to go in here to really flare that up. So hold on one second. Well, one second. Ha! I switched over to the next video after that one second. So what do you think? I think I like this much better. So let me show you what's going to be in the whole set and then we'll watch the other videos. I made four different, completely different looks with this today. So in this, you're getting the, oh, it is shedding season with my dogs. Okay. You're getting this um, tooled timber board. And this again is the winter floral and berries design. So you're going to get this, and um, do you remember what the size was of this? It's 11, 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. So there's that. And then you're getting <clears throat> not one, but two of the templates that came from this flower. It's this exact flower. So you can make a flower and then make a middle. You can use this as a little trinket dish, um, chip and dip. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. And then you also get the form that goes in the middle. Um, I mean, to use with it that goes in the middle. What a ding dong. 
Um, and you can, you can take your piece of clay. Let's pretend this was my piece of clay. I can use my banding wheel system. I can put the clay over the top and press it down and flip it over and have a beautiful flower plate, um, just like a normal looking plate. Today, I chose to give it that whole organic edge, but I could have done it just as a plate or a tall bowl or again with this in the middle. In addition, you're getting something else too because it's just in my nature to go further than I have to. And because I feel so bad that we're so far behind. So let's add stuff to it so we get farther behind, right? <laughs> That's what Mr. Wilson says. Oh, I got to flip this over. <laughs> okay. No, I just had to flip my stencil. Okay. So in addition, you're getting the stencil that, um, that will also, if you didn't want to use the floral texture. Now this, when you use this stencil, it actually looks morning glory-ish. That's my new word, morning glory-ish. Okay, but if you, if you use it like this, and this inside, you can then, you can then use, well, I show you in the video, things you could do to the inside. But that's not all. So this little piece, you're like, what the heck is that? This little piece is the scrap from the center. Let me show you this because my eye, when I took this out, did not see a scrap. My eye saw a whole design of its own. So you could actually, look at this. You could actually put that in the center and then glaze everything so that when you take it out, why are you laughing? Because I'm fumbling. Huh. He's laughing at me, guys. Y'all get on him. He's laughing at me. And there's the hand. Okay. So then when you get done glazing and take it out, you have that white spot in the middle. I'm going to show you in a minute. This looks so morning glory-ish. But I know that that this was a scrap. But again, I saw this and I went, huh. If it looks like a bullet hole. Melody, I, it's obvious that we both live in the country, right? Only us would think that. But if you put this in the middle of the small template and then glazed and took that out, you're gonna see a whole different look. And I'm gonna show you what those are. So you get the tooled temper board, the form, two templates, a stencil, and a bullet hole. <laughs> That's a big box. Um, and you can do a lot with the scrap. Who said that? Yep, you can. You can. I, <laughs> Mr. Wilson said, you're going to be putting bullet holes in everything now. All right. So let's, let me see what the next video is and hope it came out correct. Oh my, I just, oh, <laughs> okay, here we go. So I have a set here of our quirky push plates. A lot of you have these. All you need for this, I'm actually going to create this just really organic center for this. Um, so I'm going to use the tiniest quirky. See how much space I have around that? You could use, oh, I showed you, you could use your little ramen rounds. You could use anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take and put this upside down. Um, here, I'm going to use this. Because that, that quirky. Ooh, that's cool. And that's all I'm going to do to that. And look what that's going to look like in the center of that flower. Oh, I scratched it on my way out. Oops. That's okay. I'll fix that. But I'm just going to do that. 
and really give this some some sass and then I'm gonna put it and I'm just gonna set it right on top of here and let it dry let it dry all see out of the box I'm banging it on the back the back side of my rolling pin to get that organic look there's just so many different things that you can do um, let me see I have missed anything I think a lot of us were oh late probably eh, don't worry about it replays always here um, I'm just happy to have you live or the replay um, let's see I love it but I didn't order it oh no oh no yes oh no uh, only wish there was some way to order I wouldn't care how long it took you know, Nancy, you don't know how much I appreciate that. We are behind, and I hate it. But I can tell you we are not the only small business to be this far behind. But I do believe we are the only small business that has shut ordering off in order to catch up because I don't want to be farther behind. But I will tell you that we will be turning ordering back on once we get caught up and Oh, you can't see it, but right here, right, right there to my left is about 50 packages that first thing in the morning, I will run through the software to create labels and they'll go out. So there's about 50 going out there and I think it's through the 16th, the 20th of October, which will then put us still at the behind, but we're not getting farther behind. So there's about 50, 40, 50 boxes right there. That'll be going out tomorrow. Tomorrow, first thing in the morning. So let's see. So I will be turning ordering back on and you will be able to get it, Nancy. And when we turn it back on, we will be like, boom, even. So the first person that puts an order when we put it back on, you know, there will be no wait for that. So um, anyway, so... So let me ask you, just what you've seen so far, those of you that saw the, the leaf that I was going to do, do you like this better? Um, I, I just wasn't comfortable. The other one just wasn't to my real standards. And so let me know what you think. Um, let's see. Can do a lot. Oh, just made it. It does look like a hibiscus flower. Um, <clears throat> Penny, I don't know if you ordered it or not either. <clears throat> I can't see who that is that says they already have things in their cart lol I'm thinking it's Melody yep it is Melody hey Mr. Joe Bot I see you on there hello hello we will be seeing you in about a month um we are so excited oh I need to call and talk to you too by the way so um so let's go let me show you Wait till you see, wait till you see what this stencil looks like. And this stencil is from this same flower. Um, yes, more universal, uh, more appeal, more possibilities, and the sky's the limit. I'm going to show you this with just a simple single glaze and peel it off and when you see what that looks like, you are going to realize the potential of this stencil. I'm in love with this stencil. Um, all right, so let me show you that really quickly. And then I actually have one little tiny bonus video for you. So let's get to the stencil. All right, let's do a third little project from this October project box because... We were behind with my little thingy because we were behind with everything going on and you're waiting longer than you should. I felt bad. So I have added, I have added a stencil to this project box. Let me see which way it goes. Um, is that it? That looks like it. This is a little stencil, which is the mimic 
of that, that flower, that same flower that I showed you. It's a mimic of that. So you can actually make a matching plate dish bowl with the stencil. And I'm just gonna lightly roll this in. You could do water etching, which I showed you a year or two ago. You could water etch this and just get a light, light impression. I got water on the brain because it is raining out there and cold. Now, you know me, I, I'm here to give you a foundation and then you take it to the next level with your own twist on it. Um, but I'm going to um, just put some glaze on here real quick. Excuse me a second. I'm just going to slap some glaze on here so that I can show you what it will look like. But there's all kinds of things you could do. You could shade it. You could do dots. You could do... Um, slip trailing. You could do all kinds of things. Now this center is yours to design. You can use the back of the rounded edge and put dots in there. Symmetrical, non-symmetrical. You could do all kinds of things. Now the piece that came out of here, I'm actually throwing in your box as well because you could, you could sit that in there. I just got to find which way it goes. Oh, right there. I'm going to lay it on top because I don't want it in. You could put that in there so that you don't get any glaze in there. And then it's white in the center or whatever color your clay is. Um, the other thing you could do is on a, maybe on a one from the small template, you could actually put this here which is an exact duplicate of this, and you could glaze this, and when you take that off, you would have a match. So I always throw in the little pieces because there's something, something you can come up with for those. Let me go get a just a color of glaze to slap on here just to show you what this is gonna look like real quick here. Okay, I just grabbed Fruit of the Loom, SC33, it's a purplish color. Make this look pansy-ish. I can't use that. That's, let me grab a dish. Golly gosh, couldn't help myself. Got a little floral, a little flower. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in here. And I think, just for fun, Again, it's a uh, Fruit of the Line purple because I thought it might look pansy-ish. Pansy-ish, my own word, my own creation. And I think I am going to put this in here. Let me see where it goes. out of my way. Is there a bigger one than the other one? This one. I think it goes this way. Get this in there because I think it might look really, to coin my phrase, pansy-ish. Just trying to find where it goes exactly. I should have done this first, but I didn't. Is it that way? No. Oh, there. That's it. There we go. That's the way it goes. Close enough.
I'm going to probably have double lines because I didn't fit it exact. Come on. You would want to do this first and then put the other one over the top. But close enough. Oh. Might get little double lines in there, but that's okay. I think it's going to look pansy-ish. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Now, you, on the other hand, could certainly come back and put some deeper blue or deeper purple shadows, white shadows. Um, you could really dress this up. Heck, we should get Paula McCoy. Uh, she could go to town with this stencil and flower with her painting skills. But again, I am just giving you some tools that I want to see you get super creative with. And then I'm going to just put this aside and let it dry But um, after I pull the stencil. But I will just, um, I could, depending on what it comes out like, may want to just put it as a plate, um, make it a big bowl. I think it's going to look like a pansy. Oh, I think it's going to be gorgeous. So a big template, a little template, a stencil, a board, and a form all in your October surprise box. All right, I think I just painted my shirt. No, I did not. Are you ready? Are you ready to see what this is going to look like? I know I am. Let me find a good spot to grab a hold of. I like to look to see a spot that came closest to the edge, like right there. Oh, <laughs> I just flicked it all in my face. Look at that. That's fantastic. And I did flick a little. I flicked it. So I'm going to just come in here with my sponge. You could also do this after the after your dry there took great good care of that now let's take this off well this is going to be fun where do i want to grab it Oh, stuck my finger in it. Look at that. Stuck my finger in it right there. So what I'm going to do is take a stiffer brush and come right here and put that back together. I'm a master of fixing because I'm a master of breaking. You'll never see that. Now, I do see those little purple lines from where I had that little stencil in that I put in after the fact instead of in the beginning. I can very easily just pull these right out of there with a, with a brush. You could choose to leave them. They're actually kind of pretty, but I've already started taking them out, so... And this will take them right out of there. And you'll never see it. I won't sit here and do the whole thing. But I wanted to show you you could do it. But look at that. Is that going to make a gorgeous 
gorgeous flower. I just want to pull it all out now. Here we go with the October box. Okay, that's where the video went. <laughs> all right, so what did you think of that? Now, when the, um, when we first, when I first took this, the stencil off with the purple, but the inside piece of stencil or the bullet hole, so to speak, was still sitting there. And it was, um, it was, gla it had the glaze over the top of it. So it had the purple in the middle. That in itself was gorgeous. So if you don't want to put the, the, the center in, you saw what it would look like if that was also glazed. And that was actually beautiful as well. So did it look, I was saying morning glory-ish in the beginning, but in my videos, I was saying pansy-ish. What does it look most like to you? Morning glory or a pansy? All right. So I do have a bonus little video of using the scrap piece. So let me show that to you. Um, so, and, and while that's playing, tell me in the comments, do you, what you, what flower you think this looks most like? Okay. And here comes the bonus pansy. Yeah. See, I was saying pansy when I made it. And then for some reason, when we, before I started showing you the videos, I don't know where I came up with morning glorious. I meant pansy, but here we go. Here's a little quick bonus. Okay. Okay. Just a quick little bonus. So I took this little baby one. And I poked with my needle tool in the center. And then I flipped the template to the other side so I could see a little hole right there. So I could take this, whoops, and center it. There we go. With, it's pretty centered, but the little pokey legs are pointing at the indents, okay? Just for fun, I wanted you to see what it would look like with just this. I did put my purple away, and then I decided, ooh, this would be fun. So, I'm just gonna do this real quickly. just to show you the versatility of this box. Um, excuse my bird. He obviously has been taught no manners. <laughs> he wants what he wants when he wants it. And he ain't getting me right now. And no back talk. If I say it loud, he'll back talk me. Okay. So the versatility of this box is amazing. A place setting with four different styles. Holy, holy smokes. So be sure if you didn't purchase the October box and you're crying, crying in your milk now, uh, if you're going to be at ClayCon, I will have some of these available at ClayCon, but they won't be <coughs> available on my site. <coughs> Sorry. They won't be available on my site until um, after we get back because we will not be able to fulfill orders until then. So I'm not even gonna open it up for orders because I don't want everybody upset when they can't get it quick enough. All right, I am gonna see if I can grab me a little leg here. Look at that. I just stick that in my water. 
and then I do come back where I stuck my needle tool and just lightly fix that so you don't ever see it. I think that is fantastic. Oh, I love that. And then you could put, oh, just for fun. I don't know if I have enough left in here. Right over the hole, and I don't have to fix it. On a little tiny dot. There we go. There. What do you think of that? Just because, just because I threw in the scrap. This would technically be the scrap piece of the stencil, but my eyes say there's no such thing as a scrap because look what that just did. A whole nother gorgeous design. There you have it. October project box redo. Okay. You like it better? So let me show you. Um, let me do this. Oh, Come on, let me put this on. There we go. Okay, so here is the, the two pieces that I did. Now, again, you could make them just as plates. I just chose to, to go the organic route. Um, but look at this. And again, this flower right here is where the rest of the design came from. So I took one little element and created the templates, the stencil, the form. So there's that. Now, let me see, where can I stick this? It's still not dry. Oh, and remember, it's got a backside. That looks like a pie. Okay, but it's got a backside. Now, the, the big one with the stencil, just for lack of anything better to do today, I just stuck it over the top of the um, bubble bowl, which, by the way, this is the 10-3. 10, 10 we also have a 12 now, and these will be available at ClayCon. But if I turn this over and pull this out, look at it. It didn't even get anything on my, on my bubble bowl. And look at this. Look at this flower. I have a little touch up to do, but um, hope you know the extra goodies are appreciated. Cindy, I do. I, I know, um, I, you know, there's a lot of negativity out there over being behind and things like that. But, you know, those are people who don't walk in the shoes of a small business person. Um, the other thing is you really never know what's going on in their life at the time either. And you just may have been the brunt of their frustration over their life. So it is what it is. We we work hard. We do our very best. And uh, it's all that we can do. But look at this flower. Oh my God. Now, for the little baby, I stuck it, <laughs> I stuck it inside of a bowl and pounced it down with this little dude. A little makeup thingy. 
I stuck it in a bowl and then just pounced it down. And look at that. Look at that. Could you imagine that sitting on your table for uh, your guests to come? Bridal shower. Look at that as at a bridal shower. Um, maybe you're serving salad or whatever. You can um, do that, and I just I just laid it across this. I haven't even put a foot on it or any or either of them. But what about this as a place setting? And and you can put different. You can do different colored pansies, and so each of your bridal party can take their set with them as a bridal shower gift, and they could have their salad and, and a little bowl of fruit or whatever. Um, so. Anyway, uh, I am much, much happier with this October surprise box. Um, on the heels of the Christmas in July box was such a huge hit. Um, I knew I had to, I, I knew I had to do better than the Lee. And so I worked diligently and there you have it. In fact, these in all different colors, I'm just so in love with. Um, and so we'll just tell our bridal party that somebody came in and boom, bullet hole. Anyway, I hope you like it. I hope you're happy. Um, I hope you're much happier with this. Um, let's see. We'll get that at ClayCon. There you go. Uh, what, Stacey? I think you already ordered the box, didn't you? Uh, can't go to ClayCon. It's completely across the com country for me. Bummer. Nancy, um, we'll be, we'll, we'll be, we'll have our site open back up and you're going to see a whole new direction from our business. It's going to take on a whole new feel, a whole new direction, uh, a whole new website. And, um, these, these surprise boxes are going to be a big thing for us, a big theme where you just get the whole thing and it won't be a duplication of products that you already have or anything like that. Um, imagine an Easter table. Who said that? Who said that? Cindy. Yes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous Easter table with these. I'm pulling off the things. I'm going to have to touch this up. But is this not just totally gorgeous? I love it. I love it. I love it. Love the stencil. Love the flowers. All right. Oh, the bubble bowl. Okay. Um, yes, I, I've, um, I've got <clears throat> the 10 and 12 bubble bowls out to someone who is um, doing some special things for it as well that you'll see at ClayCon. Um, and then my, my wonderful sister in crime, Miss Melody has also offered to help make some things for ClayCon so that we had some samples because I have no time. Um, so love you, Melody. You are the best. Anyway, I hope you uh, love this. Oh, huh? There. Mr. Wilson must want to tell me something. There. Six five bubble will probably make ClayCon too. Oh, so you heard it first. He's telling me that the six five bubble bowl will probably be available at ClayCon as well. Um, so so that will be available too. Oh, and and maybe also they may come a four D bag. Oh, he thinks maybe in a four D too, but I don't think we're gonna get that far myself. <laughs> but I will tell you that this template. The small template is a six and a half inch template, which also fits all of the baby hybrids, all of the roundish baby hybrids, which will make a, a rim for all the baby hybrids. But, oh my God, Easter, bridal shower, um, just, I got to make a set of these in different colors. I absolutely love this. Um, and again, I pulled out, I pulled out a flower. I pulled out the flower out of the design and, uh, this is what it did. 
So think outside the box, kids, because being stuck in that box is no fun. Let's see. I knew, I know I ordered one surprise box, but I can't remember what month. The next surprise box that I ordered, LOL, I'm behind too. Um, well, this is only the second, unless you're a founder, but um, this is only the second surprise box. So I will be putting these pictures, click it. I'm going to have grilled bird for dinner. <laughs> Y'all know I'm kidding, right? Yeah, don't turn in Pete. Don't turn me into Peta. I love my animals. Um, anyway, this is only the second surprise box, Deb. So if you got the Christmas in July and think you ordered another one, it's it's got to be this because um, this is it. This is the second one. Anybody have any questions before I go? Oh. Um, we're not doing anything in the Slab the Fab group tonight. Um, the Slab the Fab group is actually on hold anyway, but we're not doing anything in there tonight. Mr. Wilson, will you come up and cover up Cricket, please? I don't hear footsteps. He must not have heard me. Um, anyway, um... So we're not doing anything in the Slab the Fab group tonight. Um, however, next week, I know Sherry was on a minute ago. Our our very own Sherry Castanon in, hope I said that right, Sherry, in our Slab the Fab group has created videos making lidded jars, lidded canisters, lidded things, jars, I believe, Um and so next week on Tuesday, we will be debuting Sherry's videos in our group. And anybody else that wants to volunteer, we'll get you for the next the next weeks. And then um, I don't know what I was thinking when I scheduled the founder group tonight at seven because there's nothing going on in the regular Slab the Fab group. I could have done it our founders thing at six o'clock. Um, but I'm afraid if I do that now, if I say, oh, just come in at six and we'll do it, then maybe there's going to be people who were coming on at seven that didn't come here. Um, tell me what you think. Should we go ahead and do it at six or do we wait till seven? Those of you that are founding members that are in here, let me know. Um, who needs to go to bed earlier? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> um, but again, Sherry... Kassanon will be debuting, we will debut her video making and her uh, technique for making little jars uh, next Tuesday night. So excited. Those of you that are in the uh, Slab to Fab group, if you want to make a video, if you have a technique you want to share or whatever, let me know and um, we'll get you scheduled to go in there as well. And hey, it's a very safe place to um, try your hand at videos and teaching online. There is room for all of us out here. So come on and, and get some practice teaching in a safe environment and then go out and, and do your thing. Um, founders, founders, founders. I'm seeing six, 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 six. You know what? How about this guys? The founders, oh, it's already 6.05. <laughs> Founders, let's go over to the to the founders group and uh, in 10 minutes at 6.15. That gives me a chance to run to the little girl's room and refill me something to drink. And we'll meet in the founders group at 6.15. Thank you guys, everybody. Love you all.